order for Chrysler, more money for Tesla, and missing oil cooler makes some BMW owners boiling mad. I'm Derek D, and this is Fast Lane Daily. Looks like Chrysler is losing its later hosing. News reports say Daimler Chrysler has found a buyer for its American division. US-based Cerberus Capital Management is reportedly putting up $7.4 billion in exchange for 80% of Chrysler, while Daimler will keep a 20% stake. Daimler bought Chrysler nine years ago for $36 billion, but since then, Chrysler's performance has swung from wildly profitable to, buddy, can you spare a dime? Ending 2006, $640 million underwater. Electric sports car builder Tesla just scored a new stash of venture capital funding. The company will use the $45 million to continue development of its top secret White Star sedan. It will also use it to build a plant in Mexico and expand its dealer network. Do it yourselfers, grab your checkbooks. Phoenix-based Graber Cars says it's offering the La Bala Roadster to those with skills enough to slap it together. The lightweight convertible is similar in size to a Lotus Elise, and when fitted with a 1.6 liter Toyota power plant, it can get from 0 to 60 in 4.3 seconds. The budget Speedster minus an engine and assembly can be yours for around $25,000. What's gotten some BMW owners hot under the collar? That's in the internet rumor mill right after this. Got a story for Fastlane Daily? Give us a call at 213-291-1883 or tips at FastlaneDaily.com. And don't forget to subscribe to Fastlane Daily on your favorite internet video provider. A few outspoken owners of BMW's new Twin Turbo 335i have been blowing off steam on the forums this past month. At issue is the car's oil cooler, or in some cases, the lack of one. It seems early 335i models with automatic transmissions shipped without an oil cooler. That's the square thing found inside the car's front wheel well that keeps the car's oil from going supernova. According to some drivers, not having a cooler means high oil temperatures, which can cause the car's computer to dial up crisis mode during hard driving. According to several forum threads, the problem can be solved by a simple retrofitting. No word yet on whether BMW owners will have to fit the bill, but we'll bring you the latest as we hear it. That wraps up Fastlane Daily for today. Tune in tomorrow when we use our BMW 335i to fry up a few chicken fingers. I'll see you later.